squid spawning. It's magical and otherworldly. These are market squid, also called opalescent squid, in a fishery in the Channel Islands off the coast of Southern California. Squid spend most of their time in deep water, but come to the surface to feed, usually at night. They also move inshore to spawn, a group activity. Squid fishery is the number one fishery in the state of California. Guided by boat operator Fred Benko, the Ocean Adventures team has the remarkable opportunity to dive among these teeming squid while their behavior is the most dramatic, reproducing and dying. I, I was just talking with one of the Channel Islands uh, squid fishermen, and uh, he's willing to meet us out here. Uh, he says he's been fishing squid for 40 years. This is the best year he's ever seen. Really? Uh, great. Really uh, excellent production. Some of the guys will have three, four light boats they're working with them. He'll load up, get in, offload, get back out, try to get another load for daylight. What really happens though, when we put the lights on the fish is uh, they come up, they're actually mating under the lights. When you see that, do you see a lot of predators also taking advantage of the concentration of squid because of the lights? Yeah, lots of times. You'll always find uh, sea lions in it. and uh, and. Um, harbor seals that get in and, and feed on them, and many times you, you get blue sharks and um, other animals. Everything eats the squid. I mean, it's just, uh, it's everybody's favorite meal. For humans, too, over 90,000 metric tons of squid are harvested off the coast of California in a good year. Fresh squid, when you get it right out of the water and put it on the griddle, it is absolutely the best eating thing that you've ever tasted. As the divers prepare for the dive, their excitement is palpable. Slow and easy, Zip. There you go, man. Yeah, four or five tons of squid under his boat there. That's going to be a... Impressive sight, huh? Yeah. Swimming through it? It's going to be fun swimming through it, yeah. All clear. The squid spawning season in Southern California ranges from October to April, with a peak in December to February. Hair spawning with the fishermen's lights, and you've got the ingredients for a fantastic night dive. These squid have unusual and dramatic mating habits. The male grasps the female in his arms, sometimes for hours, while he transfers his spermatophores to her. While they're mating, the male's arms turn maroon. Squid can control their pigment cells, which are called chromatophores. Scientists think the males use color to attract females and to ward off other males while they're mating. Together and still attached, the squid couple drifts down to an egg bed, a communal egg cluster set in the sand. The female then releases her capsule of eggs, adding to the cluster. After she deposits her egg capsule, they separate. Mating marks the beginning of the end for these squid. Many are mutilated by the process, even losing tentacles. As they deteriorate, they attract predators. Even if they're not eaten immediately, they die. Scattered among the egg beds are dead squid. Their lifespan is short, less than a year. But in a few weeks, their offspring will hatch, and the cycle will begin again. <laughs> 